All right, welcome back Pyros. Shout out to Pyro Lazy D for your tutorials. I'm actually learning stuff off of you as well. Uh, but anyway, this video is going to be over how I make my red flash. This is used as a second stage um, for your buzz bombs. You can use it as a second stage on a rocket. Um, pretty much your first stage is your black powder to get it spinning. And then your second stage gives it that really fast boost of power takes off and it has that very nice red flame on it same stuff like a uh, ground bloom you see the red flash and it takes off it makes it spin even faster even the ground bloom uses actual black powder to start but pretty much what i do is i usually make 100 gram batches like this here it's probably like 50 but today i'm probably just going to be making 10 uh, so what I'm going to be using is a mix or a composition of 50 grams strontium nitrate, 20 grams sulfur, 10 grams of PVC or Parlon, which I'm using Parlon, and 20 grams dark aluminum. I have this dark aluminum here. It works really well. I also have a pound of uh, magnalium 325 mesh, but I don't use it as much because the dark works better for the flash, um, for this type of flash. Um, here's another mixture that I got off a of Skylighter if you like to make gerbs, which I do sometimes. This one is a um, difference, and this one is red gum. This one doesn't produce enough of a flash uh, boost, if you would. It's more of like a fountain or a gerb, whatever you want to call it. Um, it stays stationary, so it, you know, it doesn't really take off. But anyways, let's get started. I'll tear out my scale. So like I said, I'm gonna make a 10 gram batch and then I'll give a, a test on what that looks like. So first off, strontium nitrate. Um, I do get all my chemicals from either Skylighter or Fireworks Cookbook. Um, it seems to work very well. Um, I haven't got any complaints for the strontium nitrate or the um, aluminum. All right, I went over a little bit. Should be at five grams. Forgot I'm not making a hundred. So yeah, 5.1 is okay. I'll probably take out just a pinch. There we go, right at five. Okay, so strontium nitrate and sulfur. It's gonna be two grams. So I'll use a little bit of time. Sometimes this scale I don't like because it actually while I'm measuring it shuts off because it doesn't change the weight fast enough and that annoys me and I, I'm going to probably get a new scale at some point if it keeps doing that. Um, but anyways this scale works pretty good. I mean all my mixtures come out well. I haven't had any issues as far as something not working. Um, I've even used, there we go, seven. Okay and then what I'll do sometimes I'll lift it, put it back down so it kind of resets the timer on the scale. Uh, 10 of uh, Parlon. Uh, a lot of these chemicals are pretty easy to get. They're not super hard to get. It's just the price and shipping pretty much is what gets you. Like if you don't really want that much, but they only ship out two pounds at a time, you're paying two pounds for that plus the shipping and the shipping is usually more expensive than the actual chemical itself. But pretty much I've been paying for all kinds of stuff. I have a lot of other chemicals in there that I use. Uh, I haven't got into making the, um, what do you call it, the, the strobes yet. And then for my dark aluminum, it's going to be two. So right now, sitting at eight, it just kind of went down a little bit, 0.1, but I'm going to just make it to 10. This dark aluminum I've had for a while, I mean, it doesn't go bad very easily. As long as you keep them sealed and away from moisture, it seems to work pretty good. All right, as you can see there, that is 10 grams. Now, all I have to do is just mix it up. So on this, it is a flash, but I don't believe, to, I don't believe it to be shock sensitive because I've been making this already for a couple years now. And I've always mixed it like this. And even in plastic, I mean, I, I, I try to make sure I don't have any static electricity, you know, discharging from my fingers, but I've actually stored this one 
I don't know if I put the date on it, but I've actually stored that already for, I don't know, I would say about three months now because I forgot I had it and it stores just fine. I have no issues. It doesn't ignite, um, but I wouldn't suggest storing pounds of it. I only make 100 gram batches because you don't want to keep too much of this stuff on hand. If something else goes off, then you're going to have a really hard time trying to put that aluminum out or magnesium because everybody knows that magnesium doesn't really get put out with water. So if you use aluminum or a magnesium, then yeah. So pretty much, as you can see, this is my flash powder. The initial test that you guys saw is this aluminum powder. Oh, I'm sorry, this is magnesium. That's why it's not as dark as this one, as you can see. It's kind of hard to get it on the lighting, but you can definitely tell the difference. This one is the dark aluminum, whereas this one is the magnesium. Um, I've actually done quite a few of these with both. They work equally as well. I'm not gonna say, I know I said earlier, but I know I'm not gonna say one's better than the other. I just noticed me personally that the dark aluminum gives a darker red to it. So I'm not gonna make any green because it uses barium nitrate and all that. I just figured I would talk about it. So uh, the green flash that I use that works, and I'm seeing you see it in my other videos where it has a really nice green um, green flare to it. And I think one of my videos, my torch actually fell over and started spinning around. So I know that this one here is supposed to be a flare, but it actually has enough thrust for it to provide boost. So this one is, uh, I know I put percentages, but you can just convert that to grams. So 60 grams barium nitrate, 15 grams of magnesium. Uh, the magnesium I'm using is 325 mesh. So that or even finer might work. I'm not sure if it's a big deal. 15% parlon and 10% dextrin. Uh, the dextrin, I know I use that for the stars, but I don't notice it affecting the burn rate as far as how it reacts. Cause I made a gerb out of it, like I said, and that thing was flopping everywhere. And I, I didn't expect that. I thought it was an actual torch, which I was hoping it wasn't going to flop around, but it did. But anyways, that's just a real quick video I wanted to make. Uh, I'm going to put the burn test on it. I'm going to actually do a burn test on both so we can see which one's actually darker or not, just to kind of see if there's actually a difference in there. Maybe it's just my eyes, but anyways, thanks for watching and to the next video. Okay, here's the test of the 10 grams that I made today, the dark aluminum pyro, red flash. Okay, this here is the magnalium red flash.